have not been reading very much, so... actually working you guys are like bouncing on a picture frame right now i was gonna like talk to you guys while i did my makeup but i don't know how long you guys will last up there and it's like a really weird angle so sorry but bear with me um i don't do anything exciting to my face because i don't understand makeup and um i'm a basic bitch so basically all i do is i fill in my eyebrows with i don't know what this is i got it in like an influencer package and they like send you makeup and shit and you have to like endorse it or whatever. So yeah, it's like Kat Von D eyebrow pomade or something like that. Honestly, I don't know. But basically my whole makeup routine is eyebrows and then I do my eyeliner and mascara because I don't know how to do makeup. I really wish I did, but I pretty much have to do my eyebrows because when I was in high school, I played on the basketball team and we had initiation where they literally like shaved half your eyebrow off um for picture day and uh mine never grew back after so like i'm not very good at eyebrows as you can see they are sisters not twins and they're also very ugly sisters not twins but it is what it is okay and then i just take maybelline new york eye studio gel eyeliner and i just like draw a line on my face because I can't do that cat eye shit. Also, I think I look stupid with cat eye anyways, so I just don't do it. And I'm also not very good at drawing straight lines, so there's that problem too. Not very exciting, but that's the makeup tutorial. Oh, and then I always get it like in my little eye... What are those called? Eye drops? Eye, eye corners, corner eyes? I don't fucking know. When beauty gurus do it, they go, now put it in your corners. So I guess that's what it is, but I'm just, I'm not good at makeup, okay? I'm, I rush it and I just don't care. And then all I do is put on CoverGirl Clump Crusher mascara and then I'm done. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. Can I do it like in the makeup? Oh, look at that, see? But I figured I can tell you guys what i am reading since it is the reading vlog i finished come again by robert webb and i ended up giving it a three out of five stars like it was okay it was very forgettable in my opinion like i honestly did not give a shit about any of the characters i didn't care what happened to them the husband dies at the beginning it's not a spoiler because it's literally in the synopsis of the book he dies of cancer and then she comes back and she's supposed to like save him before he dies of the cancer but honestly i didn't give a shit like he was kind of a shitty person she was kind of a shitty person and like i didn't really give a fuck so i'm gonna take that off because it's bothering me and like spoilers if you guys are ever going to read that book so like mute me until i put my hand down i guess there was this weird like spy tie-in that made absolutely no sense like it was like this normal adult romance novel and then all of a sudden it was like let's throw spies in there and like bleh, bleh, bleh. It, like it didn't make sense for the storyline so it's stupid but that's my review of that book do not recommend like it was okay it was average three out of five stars like it was a fun time but it was kind of stupid but yeah so that's the makeup look we're done and then i just take a q-tip and get rid of the shit in my eyeball because i can't do proper makeup and there you go that's literally my five minute makeup routine it doesn't even take five minutes it takes like three minutes but because i was talking the whole time because i never shut the fuck up um it took longer and now i just have to brush my hair and then i think will's coming to pick me up so exciting i don't know what we're doing but i'm sure there will be clips i'm assuming we're doing more t-shirt stuff which means i'm probably gonna read i'm reading a kind of poison by i don't natalie may natasha may something like that i'll insert the picture but i figured out what it is actually about it's about this girl who has the ability to talk to animals but like apparently that's not impressive and every year or like every 10 years something like that there's a human sacrifice and she ends up being the human sacrifice for that year something like that i don't know good reads it i'll put it down below hello dear Hi. are you having a good day yeah. what have we done today well what have i done today you rinse shirts and tie-dye no you didn't tie-dye no rinse. i might do that after dinner though okay he rinsed and he delivered I did. I delivered a shirt. And I read. And she got to see where I work, which is exciting. It's just a big building with nobody in the parking lot because we're on shutdown for now. Come Monday, that parking lot will be full again. Yeah. What do you think about the place? It's a big factory. It's like a prison. It's got barbed wire around it and everything is great. Makes cars. Yeah. 
Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> Dog. Oh. You silly dog. Oh. You silly dog. Get those zits. Oh. Let's go. Funny dog. I'll look you instead. Okay, what did we just do? Bought tampons. We? What did the best boyfriend in the whole world do for the first time ever? He bought tampons, but he bought the wrong ones, so that's okay because I still love them. Okay, but I got her a value pack, so there are still enough that she can use the ones she needs without actually needing to return the whole package that I purchased. I purchased. You just bought them. I me. went in the store. I physically went in. I, I said, here's the money. Buy me tampons. Yeah, okay. I mean, true. But, I mean, It's because like, I didn't have a mask. I'm not a bitch. I'm not just like, do this is for true. me. They, they, uh, businesses are, um, making us mandatorily put on, I was going to say beards, masks. But um, I don't have mine here. Early. And they're making it mandatory on Monday. But a lot of businesses are like, nope, just kidding. We're going to make you put on masks now rather than later. So Miss J here didn't have a mask. So I had to go in and pull my big thong up and say, you know what? I got this. When really all I did was I went to the pharmacy and asked the pharmacist that knows me by name and like loves me. said, hey, I'm new to this. My girlfriend needs these. Where can I find them? And she came up and she said, top shelf right here, honey. And I grabbed the first box that I saw that matched somewhat the uh, <laughs> picture that Jay provided me with and uh, we got 12 of the right ones and how many of the other ones? 18 of the regular and 10 of the super plus. So we've got 28 that she's not going to use but 12 that she will use. I can use the small ones. Oh okay well then okay that's but the big ones are no. Yeah she said she doesn't want a 2 by 4 up there so apparently whatever that means because <laughs> you know I'm still trying to understand all of this. Anyways now you're all caught up to speed on what we did today and uh we're gonna have a fire later. That's what's gonna happen. What are we gonna have at the fire? We're we gonna have a drink. Yes. Yeah. Baby. Yep. It'll be a good time. I suppose I'll uh, try to keep you posted, but maybe not. I won't. <laughs> All right. Peace out. Peace out. Hi. Hi. What happened when we got home? Jerry told me not to flush tampons down the toilet. And what have you done? Flush tampons down the toilet. How many? <laughs> Only one. No, two. Two? Now the whole thing is gonna fucking break. Well, you didn't tell so, me. right now, should I go like this angle, this angle? I don't know. Apparently, I need to work on my angles. <laughs> this way? Is that good? Sure. Anyway, apparently, I need to work on um, the angles, so this is what's happening. But also, you're not supposed to flush some stuff down the toilet at my house. Tampons. In particular. Feminine products. Yes, hygiene products. Um, because. My bathroom in the basement is lower than the septic tank because we're out in the country. And so then it has to be pumped and it gets torn up or shredded. It goes, yeah, it goes, <laughs> and goes through a pump <laughs> that pumps it all up into the septic tank. So from now on, ladies and gentlemen, what is Jay not going to do? Flush him down the toilet. Good answer. And what? I didn't know. I didn't know either. <laughs> like, whatever. It's still flushing. It's not clogging. But it costs $5,000 if it breaks. I owe you $5,000. You can give me $5,000 all you want. I don't have $5,000. You don't? No. Miss Lady, I could buy a car. I have money, I just don't want to spend it. Yeah, and then I got a girlfriend. I was the same way, and then I got a girlfriend. You don't have to buy me anything. Apparently, I have to feed you to make you happy. Yeah, but you have food here. Anyhow. Anyhow. Life lesson, folks. Always <laughs> ask to flush shit down the toilet, unless it's actual shit. And then uh, you'll avoid this mess, okay? Peace I'm out. worried. <laughs> You're worried? Don't <laughs> worry, as long as it still flushes. What was earlier? It was that, like... Did it, did it, that's not a very, yeah, see, <laughs> angles, okay, we'll go up. Um, as long as it's not, like. It, well, I've peed, like, eight times yeah, since. Yeah, so then it's fine, I'd say it's fine, but, like, just don't make a habit of it, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. Right. Peace out. Wow. Just like that. <laughs> Hello, good morning, folks. She's up here. She too big. Mm. I didn't, I'm not calling you fat, though, because you're probably going to be like, are you calling me fat? Anyways, did you enjoy your night last night? 
Yeah. We didn't vlog any of the fire. Will got real drunk. I did not get real drunk. I was definitely drunk, but I was not like, Woo, I'm so drunk. You were very loud. Well, that's me naturally. I'm very obnoxious. That's me naturally. You fell a lot. I did fall. A lot. A lot. <laughs> Only for you. That's disgusting. <laughs> But you held it in, so it's okay. I didn't actually almost barf. I was actually presentable by the end of the night still. We walked across the street to my friend's house, and I... They talked about sports the entire time. Yes, I did. I did, I did. I fell asleep three times. Did you? I did. It was good. At his place? <laughs> yeah. You were only there for like half an hour. Well, you guys are boring. Oh my god. <laughs> He's very nice though. I got a mosquito bite right there. You got a mosquito bite? Right there. <gasps> it's so itchy. I was wondering why your head seemed a little bigger. I thought you just smacked your head and gave Says a concussion you again. With your ow, ow, bit. ow! <laughs> so, Will got super drunk at the campfire last night, so I stayed over in the spare bedroom. And now he has to clean up all his empties and a wheelbarrow that held all the wood and stuff and like put the cover on the fire because he was too drunk to do that last night. So I'm just in the car waiting for him. You can probably hear the air conditioning because it's fucking hot as balls. Then we're gonna drive home, I'm gonna shower, and then we're gonna go get Will's hair cut from my hairdresser. I, you guys have seen him, James. He dyed my hair purple last time. I had clips during Vlogmas of it, but I've known him since I was like two. So, so we're gonna go get his hair done, and then we're supposed to be going to sushi with Sam and Curtis, but I don't know if that's actually happening anymore because we haven't talked to them about it in a while. Look at the little handyman. Such a good little worker. Wow. Look at him. Look at him. So, I guess we'll see. Oh, Will's coming, so I'm gonna turn this off. Hi, honey. Hi friends! <laughs> what are we doing? I was watching you be a little manual laborer. Yeah? I burnt my fingers on the lid of the fireplace. Hello. Hi, I'm busy driving. Sorry, gotta focus. <laughs> Trying not to kill Jay here. We just had ice cream with my cousin and her boyfriend and Will and my brother. And Sam's working so she can come. And apparently your cousin was very lenient against She was me. very nice she to She didn't you. rip on me. No, oh. usually she rips on whoever I'm dating. Well, because you date trash men. <laughs> Exhibit A! I'm not trash. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm slight trash. You're trailer Still trash. trash. <laughs> I ain't trailer trash. I don't live in a trailer. You're country boy trash. Uh, yes. But look, Will got a haircut. It looks so nice. It's not long oh. and disgusting anymore. Beautiful. And Curtis does not have a haircut. He does not have a haircut. <laughs> Still <laughs> Curtis. Still He's still Curtis. Curtis. Yeah. Okay, well. That's it. Peace. Bye. Bye. Yum. 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 Disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> A wee little baby. Well, that was so good. Very graceful. Proud of you. Thank you. Look at you. He's growing up. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. We'll get you a song. Don't worry. Let it go. Let it go. What song do you want, uh, Curtis? No. Come on. No. Here I stand. Oh, it's not that hard. You messed it up. I wasn't looking at the words. You'll never bother me anyway. <laughs> Honey. What are we doing? Watching Frozen 2. And how is Frozen 2? Great. Great. What are we snacking on? Cool Ranch Doritos. Yeah. Cool Ranch Doritos. You ever seen that cheesy Tostitos dip? Like they usually have them where the Tostitos chips are. It's orange. It's cheese. Cool Ranch Doritos with that orange dip. Snack pack. Oh my god. Unpopular opinion though because a lot of people don't like it but it's so good. Isn't it just like cheese words basically? But better. Also, best girlfriend ever repping my merch. Hi, little apparel. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> you can't even ship to them. I don't care. They can still look. I'm working on the shipping thing, okay? Mom's gotta help me with that. <laughs> oh, Anyhow. Mama's boy. Yes. Well, sometimes. Depending on what I need. This will probably be it for today. Peace out. Goodbye. No stress, no. just love. No stress, just love. You can see the difference of like grades.
It's like over there is nice. And then <laughs> we're driving into the tornado. Yeah, here we go. We're literally gonna die. <laughs> p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Sunday, Environment Canada has updated a tornado warning for the Golden Horseshoe area, Ontario. Extra care and attention should be exercised. Environment Canada meteorologists <laughs> are tracking this. I'm like so serious. <laughs> <laughs> Your life must listen. Damaging. It's not as bad as the rain right now. And locally intense rainfall are also possible. I mean, it looks Take pretty on camera. Immediately. If threatening weather approaches, That's a problem. I know. <laughs> People are going to start like tornado chasing like that show. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? That's what we're doing now. Okay, so it's Sunday now and I just finished my first aid recertification with Abby, who you saw in the car. We almost died. We're in a tornado warning here where I live. And the skies are like black and like the rain is crazy. The winds are crazy. So, you know, if you never see this vlog, I died from the tornado. Okay, I just moved rooms and I found a spot where you guys can sit because I don't want to hold you anymore. But I need to get to my laptop so that I can get my certificate from first aid, which I just took, which I told you guys. Because I need it for work. I had my first aid and it expired in May. But because of COVID and everything, like we weren't allowed to go get recerted, recertified. So we did half of it online. And then we went to like some lady's shed, which sounds super creepy, but like she's certified, so it's okay. With like the Canadian Red Cross to get our research. It was supposed to be from 11 to 2, and it's like half an hour away from my house, and it's 1.13, and I got home like about half an hour ago. We didn't really do what we were supposed to do, because I'm pretty sure you have to have like three to six hours in the room for it to count as a research, but we had like two, maybe, so whatever it expires in 2023 so i'm recerted i don't care i was supposed to go to will's house after i was done first aid but since we are in the tornado warning like <laughs> i'm not going they literally live in a glass house and they're all currently like in their basement in case the tornado comes through where they live and they're like breaks all the glass in their house feel like you know that might not be the best place for me to be right now so i'm gonna stay here which means that you know i'm gonna have a whole day of reading which is good for this channel because i have not been reading very much so i have not started another like audiobook since i finished come again yesterday or i didn't finish it yesterday i finished it the day before because i was at wills all yesterday i'm probably gonna start cruel crown by victoria aveyard it's like the novellas of the red queen series but i don't have it it's in the other room and then i'm probably going to read a kinder poison or the kinder poison i don't remember what it's called but the little scorpion guy i am 30 pages into it so like I still can't really say if I like it or not so far so good like I don't hate the writing style which is good so yeah those are the plans for today I'm currently making pizza for lunch because I love pizza and yeah it's just gonna be a nice little tornado reading day remember when I said I wasn't seeing Will <laughs> just kidding <laughs> just kidding because I'm the best and I go pick her up mm -hmm. the tornado's gone now though what, what are you like making uh, I'm gonna make a, a fried bologna sandwich. It's disgusting. It's not disgusting. It's a delicacy in this house, but if you have anything to say about it that is in negative, you can get the fuck out. Goodbye. Will's a little chemist. That one kind of looks like it's doing what it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. He's trying to make it like gravity tie dyeness. Wow. It was like a science experiment. This is a science experiment. <laughs> I have no clue if this is gonna work or not. It kind of looks like you just dipped it in fruit punch. Fruit pu <laughs> People die with juice all the time. Why didn't it come out though? Eventually. Hi, yeah. honey. Hi, honey. Why, why, why are you wearing my sweater? Because I was cold. And why are you always cold? Because it's cold in your house. It's not cold in my house. You have air conditioning. I am very not cold. Yeah, but you're a heater. Yes. What did we just try out with? A new shirt design. The gravity design. It kind of worked. It did. I really like it. The red one didn't. No, just... the red one I just put in the bucket of red dye and said hope for the best. I don't know where to look here or there. Let's do this. Keep on looking in the wrong spot. Wow. You're just gonna make it so much harder for me to edit now. Why? I'm still looking at the wrong. I'm looking at the red dye. Because I can't. Because it's gonna go upside down. Now. Oh, okay. Then we'll do this. Okay, well... Um, so then uh, I have another one sitting in a bucket in that dark room over there and I'm gonna rinse it out in a minute 
And uh, I guess we'll uh, let you know how it goes, question mark? Sure. If you remember. I'm really bad at vlogging. Yes, which is why I have now taken it's over. Fault. I've taken over. I'm trying to make your fans happy. How am I distracting? Uh, feel free to leave a thumbs down for that. <laughs> Anyways, we'll uh, we'll keep you posted on that next trick. Peace. Now imagine that with like a red, yellow, or orange. Purple. Yes, we can do purple next. I just don't have it in eight ounce tubs, so I don't have enough quantity. Purple. But that's what you want. Okay, bye. <laughs> Try tone. Oh, I like that one a lot. I like that one better than the other one. It's dark blue, light blue, and lighter blue. Yeah, I like that one. I like it a lot. It's like too. purple on top, too. Mm -hmm. You're not stealing better. this one. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, I am. Whatever you say. Why are you sad? Because I don't see you for a week. You're gonna see me. Barely. Okay, but Okay, but we just spent like three weeks together and now we're not gonna spend any yeah, time right? together. Why would I waste so much of my life with somebody that I'm not gonna see for like two weeks? He's going on nights and it's upsetting. I'm on afternoon, so I work three to eleven, which is like one of my favorite shifts because I can, you know, still live life and be healthy with my diabetes rather than waking up at the crack of stupid not eating lunch and then going home and eating dinner and everything else in the house or you can get up early why would i do that breakfast sleep or food kind of a really really big toss-up i am now working saturdays so that means the only day off that i have every week is going to be sunday unfortunately that is a week today and it's going to be difficult for miss j and i to see each other However, we're going to FaceTime. I might come here one morning. She might come to my house one morning. Maybe not. But you know what? She's a little sad. But remember, how do we say it? No stress, just love. No stress, just love. Bye. Bye-bye.